Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download mods on uh, Minecraft Java. I just got Java right there, and I will start making videos on it soon enough. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to install mods like Optifine and like basic quality of life or more advanced mods if you want them. Now, this is my desktop, but also before I say that, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely much like it, it, it just helps us out so much to push content to other people and have other people enjoy the content i create it's free and it helps out so much now what we're gonna start with right is we're gonna i assume you can it's pretty simple to download java i just went and got a redeem code and went off to like best buy or something and got a redeemable code and used it that's the best way to install java and also write the computer now, once you have Java, what you want to do to install mods is go find a mod you want. Now, I'm going to use, I'm gonna, don't, so I use Forge, download like Forge, you want to install this, downloads for Forge, this is very, it's not, I don't, I think you have to have it, I'm not, I just started modding, but I know like the general consensus, but download Forge, it, it just allows you to get a shit ton of mods on Minecraft, and it's, it's the easiest way to do this. Now, I don't know what the fuck that is, but listen, I'm getting fucking ads. But anyway, this may be a sus website. There's some sus websites out there. Just be careful what website you download from. Now, when you download this, let me hit installer. Now, once you'll get to this fire player screen, usually. Now, you don't want to click anything here. You don't want to hit download. This viruses, viruses, viruses. Now, what you want to actually hit is skip up in the top right. What this is going to do. I'm just gonna download Forge. Now I'm gonna delete this since I already have it, but it'll say it is blocked by your device. You can hit keep, but I'm gonna hit delete. Now once you hit keep, what you wanna do then is go to Windows R enter, and you wanna enter like app data, or it could be percentage app data, but app data is easier. You hit enter for app data, and then you get brought to the screen. And you can go to roaming and go to dot Minecraft. And then mods. There won't be a mods folder, but you want to create a folder over here. So you can hit right click, hit new, and then hit folder, and then name this mods. I'm going to delete this. Uh, where's my mods folder? There it is. So once you create it, you'll have a mods folder, and that's where you put everything. So as you can see, I put the installer in here, and I put a bunch of like auto sprint. Uh, this is for my. This is this is for basically whatever version you want. You want to put this under your Minecraft folder in uh, mods, like I just said. So you go Windows R run Windows R. All right, app you bring it app data roaming dot Minecraft mods. We'll create the folder, go to mods, and put all your mods in here. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys is another thing to do. Also. Before I start doing that, I don't usually do a lot of tutorials, so I'm kind of all over the place. But once you have your mods folder, what you can do is you can launch your Minecraft. So give it some time to boot up. And you'll be brought to here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go up to, before you hit play, you don't hit play yet. Don't get too excited. We're going to hit installations. And now I have a bunch of installations here. Vivecraft doesn't really work, so what I'm actually going to do, you can delete your stuff. It's off the thing. Now, once you hit Forge, you should get something like this. I tend to not use this, but you can use it if you want. And once you use mods, Forge will kind of know what version you're launching it from. So if you want to get, like, whatever mods you want to get, like 1.18. So I'm going to use my 1.8.9 as an example. You create an installation, you name it whatever you want, I gave it a custom icon and everything. And now, you don't mess up anything of this, you want to use this. You'll get release, forge, whatever, whatever. You hit enter that, and you hit save. And you have your thing. Now I have a separate one, which is a more in-depth thing. But this is the easiest way I did it. Now, I'm not going to go full steps like I've done this whole video, I'm giving you a brief explanation on this. But basically what you want to do is once, if you want to have a separate directory do not make multiple files in the same thing i almost closed my recording <laughs> but uh don't make multiple files in the same thing that just makes a mess and it'll fuck up your game 
it'll crash it, it'll do all sorts of shit. So I don't do that. I learned that the hard way, and I had to work on Minecraft for about an hour, getting it to rerun. But anyway, once you have your Minecraft, what you want to do is you want to take your Minecraft folder, right? So you want to hit Windows R. I think that is not that app data. Now, what you want to do is you want to copy your, I think it was your .minecraft folder. Yeah, you want to take your .minecraft folder and make a copy of it. And what this is essentially doing, doing is copying Minecraft, making a separate copy of the game. And once that's all copied, you can make a separate folder. So if I go to my files, I just put it in documents because that works. So you can put it really wherever. You take dot mine, yeah, you copy dot minecraft, but you put forge, whatever version you want after that. And you open that and it gives you an exact copy. You clear all the mods you have out of the extra folder that you just made and put your new ones in. So I have completely different mods here for survival minecraft. So I have GEI, Optifine, Corpse Mod, Fast Leaf Decay. I have a bunch of shit, Auto Run, uh, Zero's Minimap. I have a bunch of shit on here. And yeah, that's basically how you do it. Also, I recommend if you have mods that you don't that you don't want anymore, make another folder on your thing, so you can right click and make a new folder, right off the thing folder name it whatever you want. And then I just need extra my MC mods, and I put chisels and bits in here because I don't use it anymore. But yeah, you can basically do whatever you want now. Now that you have multiple versions, there's other videos you can check them out. If I didn't explain it good enough, but I hope. I keep this brief explanation, can keep it nice and snappy for you guys. And yeah, I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, I might do more of these in the future if you request them. So if you guys have any needs, you can join the Discord, which I've been pushing. So you can, I'm probably going gonna, gonna to leave it down in the description. You can join the Discord and talk to me. Or you can just leave it in the comments on this video about stuff you need help with and request for me to make tutorials. Because I'm looking for content to use. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!